This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. In this module, we are exploring the question, how does writing as a language technology encode language? In this video, we are looking at the ancient Phoenician writing system. Examining the question, how does the ancient Phoenician writing system encode language? Our learning objective is to identify what linguistic information is encoded in the Phoenician writing system. The ancient Phoenician writing system is an abjad. What does that mean? The Phoenician writing system is an abjad. An abjad is a type of writing system where each symbol in the writing system represents one consonant. The Phoenician writing system, the Phoenician abjad, uses the acrophonic principle to establish the name for each letter. This means that each letter is given a name where the name used starts with the sound that that symbol represents. Or, put another way, the acrophonic principle says that when we give a name to a symbol, we will use the sound at the beginning of the word that matches the symbol and the sound that that symbol represents. The Phoenician writing system was derived from the Proto-Sinaitic writing system, which in turn was derived from ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. In our historical tree of writing systems, we see this here, that proto semiotic led to Phoenician, both of which were abjads. Phoenician is an abjad. An abjad is a phonographic writing system that represents consonants. Let's look at the proto semiotic abjad before we look at the Phoenician abjad. Here we see that each symbol represents a consonant. This table is taken from Wikipedia. In the first column, we see various ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. In the second column, we see the derived proto semiotic symbols that were respectively derived from each Egyptian hieroglyph. In the third column, we see the phonetic value written in IPA for the proto semiotic symbol. All of these seen here are consonants. The first consonant is one that we don't really see very much in English. It's the sound in the middle of the word uh-oh. And here in the fourth column, that is represented as an apostrophe. So the reconstructed name, meaning ox, would have been pronounced something like alp. In the second row, we have an ancient Egyptian hieroglyph, the corresponding proto semiotic symbol, and the IPA value, b. So this symbol would have represented the sound b. And the name for that letter would have been bite meaning house. The third symbol would have represented the sound g, and the name for that letter was gamel. The fourth we see represented this consonant d, and the name of that letter was dog, meaning fish. So keep an eye on this sequence because we're going to see 
this sequence of the first four letters show up in more familiar alphabets in a few slides when we get to, for example, the Greek alphabet. So, now that we've looked at the Pronocidiatic Abjad, we can look at the Phoenician Abjad. Here in the first column, again, is the hieroglyph, the Egyptian hieroglyph. In the second column, the Proto-Sinaitic symbol, and then the Phoenician symbol. The names of the Phoenician letters are quite similar to the uh, proto sinaitic symbols, symbol names. Alep, Bet, Gimel, Dalet. Again, uh, glottal stop, B, G, D. So to review, the Phoenician writing system is an abjad. That means that in an abjad, each symbol, each letter, represents a consonant, and vowels were not written. The Phoenician abjad uses the acrophonic principle to establish the name for each letter in the abjad. 